Talk to me with Ade Dodger Allen. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Talk to Me with myself, Ade Dodger Allen. I am the MD CEO of City 1051 FM. You can stream us live by visiting our website on www.city1051fm.com or we are on Mixlr at City 1051 FM. Um, you can listen live. You can also download uh, us, our, app, our City FM app on Google Play Store or iOS and just listen on the go. You can watch us live on Instagram at CT1051 and on my personal handle at Doja Allen. Okay, all right. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, on this show, we delve into issues uh, about marriage and we discuss uh, all about its complexities. We have shared, we've had several discussions that borders on building and sustaining healthy marriages. Topics ranging from uh, communication in marriage, five love languages, infidelity, infertility, intimacy, sex, <laughs> finance, you know, just to name a few. The objective of this show is to share your experience, you know, what you're going through in your marriage and offer counsel that would help build a godly marriage, one that will be enjoyable to both the husband and the wife. However, tonight's show is a slightly different, a little bit different. I'm taking it from another angle, and that is a word for the single. So the topic of discussion tonight on Talk To Me with Adedoja Allen is a word for the singles. Right. So, yeah, we need to address uh, the pre-marriage uh, issues, the pre-marriage discussion before that single guy or that single lady delves into marriage. What do you need to know? What do you need to do? What do you need to, you know, prepare? How, you know, and all that. Okay, so this topic uh, took me down memory lane. It made me remember when I was single, you know, that feeling of being single, very, very single, you know, that period when you're all about enjoying your life and all that life has to offer. You know, I'm sure that uh, the married ones can can remember uh, that, you know, followed by the dating period when you meet that special person and you just could feel, feel it in your soul that that's the person, that's the right person, that's, that's my Mr. Right, that's my... Mrs. Wright, you know, that's, I know, it just feels like, it feels like yesterday, it feels so surreal. Uh, you know, sometimes that feeling comes, it comes true sometimes, and there are times when you have to put that dating period on replay until you finally meet that person, that right person. Everyone's prayer is to get it right, I know. The period, you know, that period is usually filled with romantic gestures and wooing, you know, you put all the effort into doing your best to attract the person. If you're a woman and, you know, if you're you, yet, well, no, if you're a man to attract the person, if you're a woman, yet yeah, to attract the person as well. And then keep, keep that relationship, hopefully to spend the rest of your life with that person. You know, this continues until you feel it's time to pop that question as a man, you know, or when the woman also, when you pop the question as a man or when the man pops the question for the woman, uh, you know, whether or not women should propose another topic for discussion, to be honest, uh, we, I don't want to talk about that now. That's not what we're talking about. I know that if I ever delve into that, ah, there'll be a lot. I personally, though, I do not think that a woman should propose to a man. Why? After all, that's what the Bible says, that he, you, you, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So women are supposed to be found by the right man, by the right man. Anyways... So if you're still there, if you're out there, are you still dating, engaged, or have you picked that special date? Just ensure that you stay with me through the show because there are some things you need to know before you say I do. You need to say I do. The phone lines are buzzing. Just hold on a little bit. We haven't opened the phone lines. We're still doing a bit of introduction on the show tonight. A word for the singles. Okay. So I need to bring this topic up because... I feel that it's important for the singles to be aware of these things. Well, not that they're not aware, though, but at least let's discuss. Sometimes let me get to know what you're thinking about. Talk to me. What are you thinking about? Are you single? 
a man, woman, what are your thoughts? Do you have any fears? Do you have cold feet? Do you have any concerns? It's an opportunity to share your fears, your concerns with me. Uh, maybe many marriages would have been saved if they were able or they were aware and intentional about, about talking about these, you know, abiding by these things. I will share some tips some words of advice to the singles tonight and hopefully it will prepare someone out there for that lifelong journey called marriage i'll talk about people's experiences i'll talk about what i think is right maybe my own experience as well and then you know we take it from there okay so the first place to start is your single man woman live your life as a single person okay enjoy what you have to enjoy discover yourself if you discover yourself then it helps you to know who you are when you begin to share your life with another person. Okay, right. So before saying I do, remember that no matter how long it takes you to get married, you can never, never be sure of what you're getting into until you get there. So yes, the woman is nice, guy is nice. You are never sure, never, never sure until you get there. So it's always good to be very, very extremely prepared. It's always very good. We'll touch down on all those topics. So ensure that you enjoy your life while you're single. Take time to travel, explore, find your place uh, in the workforce and work out your own individual turn on, turn offs. And then you also um, have to know how special and incredible uh, forever can be with you. Are you truly, truly ready? Love yourself for who you are and then find confidence in yourself. You know, in summary, you know, just know yourself before you try to know someone else. Don't you think so? When you know yourself, that man, that woman, when you know yourself, then, you know, it's better before you try to know another person. Remember that your spouse is not your sibling. You are two uh, separate individuals. Whether we should say Maybe the word might not be, um, uh, it's not, I, I, I wanted to say strange, but maybe that might be a bit too extreme. But you know, you don't know yourselves and you're coming together as one. So the next thing to do is uh, to ensure compatibility. When you know yourself before you know someone else and ensure that um, whoever you're thinking of settling down with, you're compatible with the person even though it's true that uh, opposite attracts this means that the people that people rather with opposing personalities attract each other uh for example i give myself as a uh, use myself as an example someone was telling me yesterday that my husband is very patient that he's extremely patient i do agree and she went you are not patient <laughs> so you see i have a patient spouse and i'm not exactly as patient as he is maybe my own patient thres threshold could be uh maybe i can say 30 30 percent or maybe 40 percent and he can he'll probably be about 85 percent he's actually very patient so opposite attracts um so people with opposing personalities will attract each other yeah and can still be compatible yeah yeah but sometimes though our differences can throw us jabs and it's always helpful to identify these differences now, 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 now that you're courting and know how to handle them. You might be very attracted to each other right now that you're not yet married. But if you get, if you don't get along, then the attraction may just fade with time. Yeah. Do you agree that compatibility is extremely important before you say I do? Courtship. Let's talk about courtship. Courtship gives you that opportunity to share meaningful moments and understand your partner's attitude when facing different circumstances. Yeah, that's what courtship is. It also allows you and your partner to be more vested in your relationship because of the time and effort you've put into each other. So courtship, what do you think? What do you think? Some people do spend just six months and they get married. Some go on for years and they get married. Honestly, honestly, I do not think what I would not advise, uh, or rather, I would advise against a short courtship because you're not going to get to know yourselves in six months, three months or six months. Yeah, that's why quite a lot of people that have problems develop problems <laughs> in their marriages because the question is you're asking, you're asking them, but did you not know this about him? Did you not know this about her? Do you know? You know, we always ask that question. Ah, didn't you see this when you were courting? I'm sure this sounds very familiar, right? Yeah. So, for example, 
a man that has a wife. I have a cousin who he comes to my house and is always complaining. His wife does not know how to cook. He'll probably say things to me like, Aunt, Aunt, you know, I've not eaten. I've, I've, I don't even, I've stopped eating at home. So he goes straight into my kitchen. So I said, did you not know that she couldn't cook when you were courting? He just mumbled an answer for, an answer for me. And I'm like, well. So it's very, very important that you give yourselves time to court. Know yourselves. Never, ever, never, ever be in a hurry to get married. No matter how much you think you love each other, no matter how much you think you want each other, please, please, please spend time, enough time, enough time to know one another. Very, very, extremely important. And if you're a man, Ensure she does everything for you. She cooks for you. She cleans for you. Be sure that she's extremely domesticated. She's homely. Be very, very sure. See that she's going to give you everything that you want before you pop the question to her. Likewise, the woman. So it's not one-sided. It's two-sided. Also, be sure that it's what you want in a man. It's everything that you want in a man. Everything you want your husband to be, he has it. Of course, it's not perfect, yeah. But at least majority of the things you're okay and you're happy to live with, yeah? The next thing is goals. You know, goals. Sometimes, <laughs> before you take that leap into that lifelong covenant of marriage, it's important to consider the goals and the dreams that you and your partner are nurturing. It's very possible that you're nurturing two different things. So be sure that your goals and your dreams are aligned. Okay, so if you get married in Nigeria, for example... Do you, the wife, the husband, do you have, are you nurturing dreams of relocating to Canada, to the U.S., or you're staying back? You know, that sort of, is it what you both are planning? Is it both what you both are, is it, both, is it what you both are interested in? Is it what you both like to do? So your goals are very important. Will you be able to support one another's passions and pursuits? Are you going to be able to do that? How will your marriage affect your goals and vice versa, okay? What is it that both of you want from life? What do you want? Can you pursue your dreams together? Ask all these questions. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be blinded by the so-called love. Is there something either of you will need to give up if you get married? You know that you cannot change the other person though. But is there something you think, okay, I will willingly give this up if I get married? And if so, would you be able to let it go? Hmm. It's time for, to ask yourselves the truth. Get on the same page about your goals early. And then you're going to have an easier road to walk ahead. Easy, easy peasy. Finances, get financially sound. On one of my topics, if you follow this show regularly, we talked about finance in marriage. We talked about where maybe the husband is not doing well, it's the wife. How would you feel as a woman if you have to, you know, be like the stopgap if your husband has issues in his finances? Is this something that you're prepared for? I did say that it happens in many, many, many marriages where the woman is the one that somehow has to step into the breadwinner's shoes just for a little bit of time. If that happens, are you guys prepared for it? Finances, okay. You know, because the, the way uh, the two of you approach finances will absolutely, absolutely impact your entire life and it's just best uh, and it is best you know that the matter is addressed before marriage this will prevent you from bringing unnecessary burdens into your marriage it's very very important that you talk about uh, your finances it also give you insight into one another's habits and mindset when it comes to spending saving and stewardship you also want to know if your husband is stingy <laughs> or if he's the one that will splurge you know, and just take you on a shopping spree and just pour you. You want to know that? You also want to know the wife, husband, if your wife is <laughs> a spendthrift. She just spend all your money and spend and spend and spend. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. You want to know all that. So that's why we're advising or, ad or advocating for a uh, long courtship between both of you. Because all these things will pop up. They will come out. If you give yourselves time to know one another, please ensure that you give yourself give yourselves enough, enough time and try all sorts. Try, explore many, many things so that you know the areas and you're very sure that, you know, it's not something that you want to go into or it's something that you want to go into. Communication, communication. Are you friends? 
Do you like to talk? Do you like to gist? Do you enjoy each other's company? Have you thought about that? Communicate. How often do you communicate? It is the most, one of the most foundational necessities for a successful marriage. Extremely important. I cannot overemphasize how important communication is in a marriage. And again, it starts from the place of courtship. When you're courting, are you friends? Do you talk about anything and everything do you gist do you you know you know how you just go on and on and you can't wait you know i want to tell you what happened this happened to me i didn't even gist you you know blah 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 and you're going on and on and on and on and on you will notice that communication comes up in majority of our discussions in marriage it is a real bedrock for marriage you need to be able to tell your partner about your needs your wants, your frustrations, your disappointments, your dissatisfaction without making them feel attacked or putting them on the defensive. You know, just you're, you're yourself. You're just vulnerable, you know, in, in front of your partner. You're just what you want to be, okay? You're intentional. You're deliberate when you're communicating with your spouse. It will really help prevent any unnecessary hurt and it will put both of you on the path to a long and happy marriage. So, Communication is very key, okay? Now, the next thing is respect. Respect is mutual. Yes, the wife need to or ought to respect her husband, but the, the man as well should respect his wife. Um, I've had uh, counseling sessions where someone said to me, is it okay if a man rapes his wife? So I did say that, first of all, you shouldn't use rape in marriage hmm? because sex is ordained by God in marriage. And even the Bible says, God has told us that, you know, your bodies are for each other. The man's body is for the woman, the woman's is for the man. So you shouldn't say no unless you mutually agree and all, all, all that. So rape shouldn't come out. But however, I can relate to why they're using the word rape. The man probably did not approach it from a place of respect for the woman maybe the woman said oh i'm tired today or you know i don't feel like today or whatever and the man is really in the mood and it just goes and forces her into it so that doesn't depict any form of respect for the woman so respect so you see that that's from another angle and you know on the side of the woman respect show your your husband some level of respect it is very important is your husband is the head is the crown, is the, you know, everything, the breadwinner, the king. Use all the words. You know, respect in a relationship determines how severe and how often conflict will be in that relationship. If you respect yourselves, then I think that you're going to have very less minimal conflict. Learn to respect yourself and yourselves, yeah? When you can respect yourself, then you can adequately respect your spouse. Respect, respect is simply considering the feelings and the needs of another over your own respect. Mm. The next one is submission. But before I go in, let me introduce the show again. Uh, you're tuning into City 1051 FM. We are your number one lifestyle station. Uh, it's Talk to Me with myself, Ade Doja Allen. And the topic of discussion tonight is a word for the singles. You remember that we do talk about marriage, marriage, its complexities. We delve into so many, so many, so many issues about marriages. And we open the phone lines for people to share their concerns, their own opinion, their views and contributions and all of those. So tonight we, we decided to take it a little bit different, a twist. Let's even talk about the foundation of marriage, which is the singles. You're single before you get married. What do you need to do as a single person before you get married? You need to get it right. That's the basic thing. The numbers to call when the phone lines open at 0700-1051-1051. I'm going to open the phone line just in, in another 10, 15 minutes thereabouts. Number again is 0700-1051-1051. I'm, I'm sure you're not going to forget that. You can also send me a WhatsApp. On 0909-916-4403. 0909-916-4403. And the topic of discussion tonight is a word for the singles. What should you do as a single 
person, a single man, a single woman. I've listed some, you know, quite a, number, a few pointers, but the most important that I think you should really consider is courtship because in courtship, you are going to know yourselves and many things will pop up. My phone lines are already ringing. They are buzzing. Oh, okay. All right. So, all right. Let me pick this call just quickly. Hello. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. All right. So the call didn't connect there. All right. So submission, submission, very, very important. If you're a man, ensure that the lady, the woman will submit to you as the head. She has the capabilities and the capacity to submit to you. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, we lost the caller there. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Ah, what's going on tonight? The phone lines are... Okay, all right. Call me, please. 0700 We're talking, uh, the topic is a, a word for the singles tonight. That's right. So I was on the on the point at submission. Submission. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? What's going on tonight? The phone lines are erratic. All right. So submission. As a woman, as a man, let's start with a man. Ensure that the woman your wife to be is submissive can i repeat it again ensure that your wife to be is submissive if she is not submissive if, I, if you see me in the studio i'm doing my hand like i'm warning you <laughs> if she's not submissive don't go there she will not submit to you when you get married trust me if she argues with you, if she nags you, she does not respect you as her husband, as the head. And all of those, submission is not there. She looks at you and she just talks to you anyhow. Ah, 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 ah. Do not go there. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Wow, what's going on tonight? All right, phone lines again, 0700-1051-1051. So, I talked to the man, submission, right? And then if you're the woman, hmm, ask yourself if you can submit to the man, okay? Very important, I'll repeat it. If you're a woman, a single woman, and you're in a relationship, the first question is ask yourself if you can submit to the man if you answer yes if the man to answers yes then you guys have a good marriage then you're good to go submission 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 i said it three times is very key in a marriage please extremely essential in a marriage there's no need to deceive yourself if you think that you cannot submit to the man do not get married to him and if you're the man you think that the woman is not submitting to you, then you don't need to get married to her. There will be problems, oh, there will be problems. Please ensure that you're nicely and duly warned. Ensure. I'm trying to pick the calls, but the lines are buzzing, but somehow the calls are not connecting. Sorry about that. Please keep trying. I know that you want to talk to me. The topic tonight is one that I need someone. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, even I'm frustrated. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please keep trying. Or send me a WhatsApp, okay? On 909 It's as good as, uh, as, um, as the phone call. All right, the next thing is forgiveness. You know, I've talked a lot about submission, okay? Forgiveness. Don't go, don't go into your marriage thinking ahead of time. You know, if he does this, then I'm out. If he does that, then I'm out. If he does this, then I'm out. No. You must have that mind of forgiveness. 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 You must be open to forgiveness from the start. I'm not telling you to tolerate any type of behavior, okay? But things will happen, you know, beyond the issues that you might face in the future. Just prepare and learn to forgive. Exactly. 
know within you that when things happen, when issues happen, you will forgive your spouse. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. All right. The call connected. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Princess. I'm calling from Lagos, Iowa. Oh, hi, Princess. Go ahead. Talk to me. Um, so I'm, I want to march in the area of forgiveness. Ah. There are some things in marriage you should not forgive. Really? In case of infidelity. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you married? No. <laughs> so, so how do you know that you're not going to forgive if 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 uh, fidelity happens? Because when you talk about marriage, it's all about trust. Mm. So if your partner is cheating on you and you cannot develop that trust again, so what if forgiveness is going to be asked for you to forgive? But what if he's really sorry about it and you know, and he begs you and he promises it's not going to happen? I think I think it's good enough. Then you can forgive and move on. People make mistakes. Don't you think so? But you know that when trust is broken, it's very hard to build up. Mm, yeah, but it can be built. It can be built. <laughs> if you're determined to forgive and let it go, it can be built. Honestly. Okay. Yes, it can Thank be you. built. Thank you, princess. Thank you for your contribution. All the best. All right. So we're talking about forgiveness. That was princess there. Uh, sharing her views about forgiveness. She thinks that if there's infidelity in a marriage, she doesn't think that it, it should be forgiveness. But I, I, I quite disagree that I said to her that if the man or the woman is sincerely sorry about it and broken about it and they make up their minds and promise you that it's not going to happen again, then it's fine. You know, the trust that was broken can be built again, honestly, and that's the truth. So we need to learn to forgive one another and be open to forgiveness. I mean, God forbid, we don't want to be hurt beyond what we can accept but hey if things happen i mean just forgive all right so show commitment to your future spouse in the area of forgiveness don't threaten to leave don't i always say that do not use the d word as a threat don't don't even mention leaving just be committed never quit know that you are in and in and in for it so start to practice forgiveness while you are courting one another see how easy it is for you to forgive your spouse in courtship yeah all right so city 1051 fm we are your number one lifestyle station and it's you're tuned in to talk to me with adidoja allen myself the md ceo of city 1051 fm we're talking or discussing a word for the singles. And so we're just giving our words of advice, my word of advice for the singles. I, I started by saying that, you know, first of all, singles have to get it right. There's no, uh, we, do, we wouldn't want you to make any form of mistake. So first place to start is live your life as a single person. Enjoy your life as a single person. Enjoy and enjoy uh, explore yourselves, yourself rather, as a single person. And then the next thing is to be sure that you're compatible with your partner, with whoever you are courting. Ensure that there's compatibility between both of you. You like each other. You, are, you know you've explored all that. The next thing is courtship. I do advise, I advocate for long, long and meaningful courtship. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Yeah. Top of the night, I'm sorry? Top of the night to you. Hello. Hi. How are you? What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm doing fantastic. I'm Bibi. I'm calling from Mojodi Vega. Oh, hi, Bibi. Go ahead. Talk to me. Okay. My word for the single is... Mm. is sorry, say I that again. Forgiveness. Yes. My word for the single will be um, forgiveness. Okay. Thank you. Are you married yeah, or single? Any... Bibi, are you... Oh. Okay, we lost you there, BB. Thank you for your call. You said your word for the single is forgiveness. Yes, thank you very much. We can emphasize and overemphasize that forgiveness. So the next thing we talked about is courtship. I did advocate for long courtship because in long courtship, you're going to discover yourselves thoroughly. Not fully, not 100% because, you know, we are human beings. Because once again, we hide that little thing. But at least majority of the time, you would, you know, discover what you like about your spouse and, and, and not. My final point tonight is 
you know, just to again encourage that, you know, there's no need to be scared or afraid because no marriage is perfect. So that's the first place again to start. No marriage is perfect. So every couple you see around you has one problem or the other. It is how they go about resolving it that's you know it's the beautiful thing so don't be deceived if you see my husband and i for example you think we don't have our issues we do have our issues you know but we're friends all of those things that i've uh, talked about we practice it in our in our marriage and then what makes um this couple different from you know other couples that break up is the fact that they are able to manage their affairs just manage you're able to manage these things do not compare your situation to that of another you're not the same you don't know what lies ahead of them. You don't know what they are going through. You don't know what they are chopping in their marriage. You just face your own lane, you know. Stay. Face your own lane and just focus on your own focus. <laughs> you know, be wise in your decisions and make it your duty to work on your marriage. All right? So I should open the phone lines now. Well, well it's been opened anyway before. 0700105111. And send me a WhatsApp on 0909-916-4403. Let's analyze today's topic, uh, a word for the singles. What do you think? I did talk about sex before marriage. What's your take on that? Is this something that you are practicing? Is this something that you think is doable that you can practice? Call me. Call me and talk to me. Hello, good evening. Yeah, hello, ma'am. Sorry, I ran out of units. So oh, all right. I wanted to expatiate. Okay. But so, so far, so good. Thank you so much. All the, all the points you have made is awesome. Thank so you. I just want to just give from, from my own point of my own perspective. Mm. So, forgiveness, like, you, you can't be in a relationship with anyone that you don't have the heart of letting go because nobody is perfect. Yeah. And you should actually work on yourself first because you cannot give what you don't have. Yeah. First and foremost, ha know your value, know yourself. Know that there is nobody in this life except Jesus Christ that is perfect. As long as you are human, we are meant to make mistakes. Yeah. But you have to let go because Correct. forgiveness, if you don't forgive, like you are imprisoning yourself, you are not doing the person, you are mm. actually doing yourself because you'll just be resentful and bitter. Exactly. And at the end of the day, you might lose the, the gold God has given to you. Exactly. That on death has already robbed the name. Thank you. You have to wash it and keep it as a diamond. Thank you. Cherish you. it. You have to forgive. Yeah. You, forgive, you lose important things. Exactly. You will just be bitter. You will not be yourself. Exactly. You will, something will be missing. You will just not be yourself. Correct. So forgiveness is essential. Thank you. Don't fool anybody that you will not be able to forgive. Thank it's my you. My one principle. Anybody I accept that, okay, you're going to be my partner. I must know that whatever mm. I should say myself because I know you will make mistakes. Mm. Yes, I will also make mistakes. Mm. So I will let go. Right. So communication. Make your communication be very clear and covered. Mm. I know sometimes we need third party to advise us, but sometimes you have to understand the person that you are with. Yeah. If it's not the type of person that won't talk party and all that. Yeah. Then respect it and keep it between yourself. Ah. Respect <laughs> and adoring each other is very, very important. And men, boys. Mm. Mm. Bachelor, mm. Men, in general, they are big babies. Oh. Continue to be big babies. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. You have to pamper them. <laughs> when they do something wrong, you school them in with wisdom. Right. But How about submission? Really? How about submission, baby? Yes, yeah, submission. I'm mm. um, coming to submission. submission Good. Submission is very important. You <laughs> must be. You, you must be submissive. You cannot dominate a man. It's mm. your nature. God has made them kings. Right, right. Even if we are queens or we are, we are princesses, right. you will not dominate him and make him feel that uh, you are the one leading. Let, right. him, be, let him feel like he's the one leading. Even right. when you are making good points, mm. they love that. You good. pamper them. Good. You make them feel adored. Good. Make them feel you are in charge. Even good. if you are the one that is in charge, make ah. them feel like you are the one that is in charge. Wow. Both outside and inside. Mm. Don't even if you are the one doing financial or some stuff, you need to cover it up. You don't need to you don't necessarily have to go outside and start bragging or making him see. No, 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 no. It's the way you present it, the way people will take him. Either your family or your friends or anybody around you. Yeah. So you must position yourself. Oh. Everything you have said is beautiful. Thank you. So, you I can see that you even beautiful. took down notes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bibi. Thank you for your contribution. Awesome. Excellent. So she has just, that was Bibi there. She's just agreed with all the pointers uh, discussion tonight. Tonight's discussion is a word for the singles. We're trying to build a fantastic, robust foundation for the singles before 
they delve into marriage, before they go in and say the word I do. So we gave a few pointers. Maybe I should go through, I should go, I should go over it again, but maybe not in, in no particular order. I did say no sex before marriage. No sex before marriage. I should have even asked Bibi what her views are on those. So, and then make sure that you cannot live without the person. So it's difficult to walk away from the marriage if there's something wrong. Forgiveness, we've emphasized that tonight. Submission, we also talked about that tonight. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening. My name is Uche. Calling from Uche. Your name is? Uche. Calling Uche. From Uche. Okay, hello, Uche. Go ahead, talk to yeah, me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what I have to say about about a person cannot get in girlfriend to that sex now. For how long? Take, now if you can give you again a chance to know the guy kind of girl want to marry. Since that time, since that time, you must have sex with her now. No, you shouldn't. Why should you? If you're if you're in such a hurry about sex, then get married to her. Why should you have sex before marriage? Why do you think so? Oh, I lost you there, Uche. Please call me back. Let's continue this conversation. Uche is there saying that why should he have a girlfriend and not sleep with her? Why not? Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, Madam, good evening. Hello, My sir. Name your name is? My name is Dele. Hi, Dele. I'm calling for Dele. Okay. Go ahead. Talk to me. Uh, I, I listen to your program and it's very, very interesting. Thank you. I married for the past 25 years. Woo! Well done. 25 so, years. But, yeah, but what I have what I've spoken about, they are all things that we pass through during our courtship and everything. Okay. And uh, you know, there is no marriage without an issue. Mm. So we had an issue, one or two or the other. Mm. And that goes on. Mm. But when the last time I was saying uh, something about the uh, sex, why can you cool without sex when you are in the city? It's possible. Exactly. That's what I told him. Yeah, it's possible you can try to put your yourself and try to understand yourself. Mm. You need to go what's that sex before marriage. Yeah. Know? So you have to make sure you coding your yourself. And yeah, yourself. exactly. So if, if such thing has to happen, me and the Christian, I always want the Christian. Yeah, okay. exactly. So we do pray together. Anyway, so God's happen. No, 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 no. Wow. And, oh my. and we're trying to do the way we got married and, and now we are enjoying our day. Exactly. So what's the rush? <laughs> exactly. Thank so you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your contribution there. Exactly. So that, that's coming from a man. So let it not be like, oh, because you're a woman. That's coming from a man. He's been married for 25 years and he said that. He believes it is doable that you shouldn't have sex. It's possible that you don't have sex before you get married. So no matter how long you do the courtship for, it's very possible that you preserve yourselves, you know, before you get married. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes, please. My name is Monday. Your name is? I'm called Monday. All right, good evening. From All right. Do you, are you in the car? Can you reduce the volume of your stereo radio? Okay, yes, please. Okay, yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Let me try to pull over. Let me try. Uh, <laughs> yeah, please. I listen to your program and I really appreciate what. You, in fact, I really set a reminder oh. every day, oh, every week, you. just because of this. Program. Every Thursday, um, thank I you. Really, yes. Well, sorry. I want to ask a question. Go on. Is there a crime in having sex before the marriage? Yes, there is, is a crime. Some, is, 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 if something has happened like that, what are the things we need to do to correct the error? Okay, fine. So, first of all, well, I'm speaking from the Christian uh, point of view. Um, and I'm sure, I don't know whether you're Christian, even Muslims would, I don't know, would probably feel the same way. But let me talk because I'm a Christian. That, you know, the Bible... Okay. Uh, is against sex before marriage. It's immorality, sexual immorality. It's part of the works of the flesh. So we advise not to fornicate before we get married. But if you are falling into it one way or the other, that's okay. You've, you've made the mistake. It's better to now stop what you're doing, ask for repentance, be sure that you are sure that you are remorse about it uh you're sorry about it you're broken about it see god's face in repentance and don't do it again and then you know keep yourselves till you get married that's what i would advise 
Okay. Um, if something occurs between you and your spouse, not others. If what? If that sex of a thing happens between you and your spouse, not others. If it happens between you and your spouse. Between me and my spouse, or not, the, not others, not other girls like sleeping around. Uh, you and the, you and your fiance. Yes. So far, you are not married. It's wrong. It's fornication. It's wrong. <laughs> so if you're doing it, just stop it. Wait till you get married, and then continue it. You know, in marriage. That's more Sorry. sacred than doing it before marriage. Sorry. Okay? Thank you. All the best. Godspeed. Right. Okay. That was Monday there. And so it's sort of clarifications. Uh, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Yes, sir. Uh, is, uh, David. Can you reduce the volume of your radio, please? Please, so I can hear you well. Yes. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. What's your name, please? My name is David. David. It's who? David, David. David, David. David. Sorry David. about yeah, Yes, David. Yeah. Yes, talk to me. Uh, uh, concerning, uh, I've been listening to the program. I just tuned my radio now. Mm. Uh, concerning the issue of sex uh, before marriage, mm. I don't think it's... Uh, there's, a, there's something wrong within that, with that too. Yes, that's what we're saying. That there's something wrong with it. Go ahead. Mm. Uh -huh. Because what what I'm trying to say is that uh, in, in essence of uh, you need to know the plan to marry. Maybe if, if, if the girl is the type. Well, people that are saying that maybe. Oh, I lost I lost you there, David. Sorry. Please call me back. Yeah, I mean, yes, he agrees that, um, uh, that, yeah, a couple shouldn't have sex before marriage. In fact, as a man, if you have sex with her and you end up not marrying her, oh, anyway, I don't want to delve. It's a topic that we can go on and on and on about. But, you know, the advice, the best advice or counsel is stay away from sex. If you want to marry, uh, if you're sure that you want to get married, then wait till then. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Tommy. I'm from Mimo State, but I'm calling you from Egyptian State. Are you in the car? Can you reduce the volume of your radio, please? Because I didn't quite get your name. Okay. I'm Egyptian. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Promise. Promise. Yeah, I'm calling you from Onitan. Okay. Hi, Promise. Go ahead. Talk to me. Yeah, I'm from Mimo State. Okay. Yeah, the issue of, um, uh, instead of uh, getting in, in, in the relationship of man and woman, you have to be sure before you fight. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saying my own opinion. Uh, mm. Go on. But now, the girl that I want to marry now, she's in peace. Okay. And he said you have to be sure before you get married. I don't know how else you have to. You don't know? Oh, I lost promise there. Oh, wow. Okay. Hello, good evening. Hello. All right. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes, please, good evening. What's your name, please? My name is Progress. Progress. I'm calling from Badagri. Okay, hi, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. And well done. Thank on you. The job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's kind of enlightening. Oh, wow, great. Yeah, it's it him. It's him. Mm. Mm. It's just that some of us. You know, we are still used to certain things mm. and we don't want to unlearn mm. certain things because we feel we are not comfortable with it. Mm. Even if these things are things that would help us in life. Right. Yes. We don't want to unlearn. Right. 
you know, until we shift to learn, you know, we won't grow. Mm. So we need to unlearn certain things to give room for growth. Right, exactly. Some of us have the wrong perception to marriage. Right. We think marriage is all about sex. Mm, exactly. Well, it isn't. Mm -hmm. By God's grace, I'm 12 years in third. Mm. And <laughs> reality is staring at me. Mm. It's beyond sex. It's right. another world entirely. Thank you. Another world of responsibility. Thank you. In fact, mostly responsibility. Thank you. So it's beyond just kissing and necking and going to bed. Thank you. You bring up life that you are going to give a kind for. Mm. So you need to pray your way through. Mm. You need to discuss on issues mm -hmm. that would probably come up mm -hmm. in marriage mm -hmm. and how to, you know, deal with it. You know, some of us think, uh, okay, what will I be doing with her if you're not having sex? Exactly. Well, there's mm -hmm. a lot you should do. Yeah. If you're having that mentality, then you shouldn't even go into a relationship at the first place. Exactly. Because you will cheat on your spouse. Mm. When both of you are having issues and she probably denies you of a body, you will go out, you will cheat. Of course. So there should be a different mindset to marry. We need to rearrange our mind about marriage. Mm -hmm. God, Thank you. God help us. Thank you so much, Progress. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, you've nailed it off. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Progress, for your contribution. Yes, she's talking about yeah the issue of sex. Why? Must you have sex before you get married? Why? I mean, that's the topic. That's the particular one that quite a few people have pointed, you know, put their finger on for a discussion. Why should you uh, do that? Okay, so I have a WhatsApp message. Good evening, presenter. Big ups for the good work you're doing on the show tonight. God bless you. I'm, I'm Ajay and single. I want to confirm when the UCOP show comes up. We don't... Okay, all right. My phone lines are buzzing again. Woo. Wow, wow, wow. Hello, good evening. What's your name? Yeah, good evening. My name is Biola. Your name is? My name is Biola. Okay, hi, Biola. Go ahead, talk to me. Uh, you're doing a very wonderful job, man. Oh, thank you. Like, let's both all agree sex before marriage is not good. It's zero tolerance, right? Right. Oh, I lost you there. Oh my God. Please call me back. Please call me back. 0700 1051 1051. So the UCOP show comes up every Thursday by midnight. So that means Wednesday night into Thursday morning with Tara, uh, the host of The Uncensored. Uh, Thursday by midnight. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening, ma'am. My yeah. name is Isaac. Okay, hi, Isaac. Yeah, I'm calling from here. Uh, okay. So, um, I was first before marriage, which I know is wrong, but um, my question here is that what is in the case of I um, both spouse that um, both um, relationship, they are both sex addicted and they can't really own themselves before getting married. They've what? They Say they that again. They can't. They can't owe themselves before they get married. Ah, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> Since you know that it is wrong, so you have to now look for a way to hold yourselves. You've agreed that it is wrong. So should you be doing what is wrong? The answer is the capital okay, no. What, okay, what, what is sorry, man? What is the person is sexually actually sexually abused before actually getting into a relationship? Then Say? that sexually abused actually all he or she to be in um the um, to be free. And there's no yeah there shouldn't be any reason there shouldn't be any reason the more reason why yes the more reason the person should wait to get married before having sex the more reason to get it right and do it right yes all right thank you hello hello yes sir good evening what's your name All right, uh, tonight the topic is um, creating. Why are people? 
the phone lights up. Why are people fixated on the sex from Mike? Okay, hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? We are back online. Oh, hi, good. Okay. Like I was saying the other time, I said we we all have said sex before marriage is zero tolerance. Mm -hmm. right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so, what in a situation whereby after the marriage, the guy is impotent or the lady on the other way around is like a, I mean, she doesn't have a private stuff like a uh, phobia or what do they call it? So, what needs to be done? <laughs> okay, if the man is impotent. I'm sure that um I'm sure that an impotent man oh I lost you there. But Biola, I'm very sure, well, I want to believe so that an impotent man would that's why we did talk about the courtship. In the course of the courtship, you will know, you'll find out your weaknesses. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, this is from First Black. Okay. What did you call your name, sir? David. David, okay. Good evening. Talk to me. Uh, we are saying uh, sex before marriage is wrong. Uh, like, you know, fashion is something. Tell I'm me. Not, I'm not. I'm not for it, anyways. Right. But you should not be married. Even in some cases, it is the lady that even wanted before. You know, there, is, there was this relationship that broke up. I just of that the girl, you know, left the relationship. You know, thinking the guy was like for abstinence, but she was like, no, maybe something's wrong with the guy. And the guy is impotent. Mm. So she said she couldn't cope. She had to leave. Mm. So then so a friend of mine, you know, the relationship broke. The guy, the guy just, you know, pointed out at long like she doesn't want, she cannot marry the guy. She just, she just, she was just having a you know, good time. That she can't even, the, even the guy wanted to marry her. Mm. But she said, I can't marry you. And she, she was not that dumb the guy now. See, so That's what we're saying. No, 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 at all. It's both ways. Yes, you're right. It's not the guys, it's both ways. Mm. Correct. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for your contribution. Yes, it's both ways. Uh, the bottom line is uh, we're trying to talk against sex before marriage. Whether or not, no matter what the argument is, it is wrong and we're trying to discourage it for many, many, many reasons that we can't even go uh, into all of it tonight. Hello, good evening. What's your name, please? Oh, hello, good evening. Mr. Fortune. It's who? Fortunate. Fortunate, okay. Talk to me. Yeah. Um, what I can say is that before marriage, it's not the thing that is affected. Because it can look to many other things. Where that mm. word, word, what mm. they say it mm. can happen. Mm. I'm struggling oh, to hear you, though. Talk to me with a day dodger, Alan.